Hello, this is Dr. Don Klum with drklum.com and yourvirtualdoc.com. Today I'm here at Abundant Health in Long Island, New York, our brick and mortar practice to go over the home toxicity test. You've either already gotten your test and you're looking at the link to see how to use it or you've come across it on the website. Either way, you're always welcome. This is the home toxicity test. First, let me go over the four items that come in your test. Very simply, you'll get this little card that, that shows the range of your results, which I'll go over in just a second. You'll get a little plastic pipette. Very simple. It's kind of like an eyedropper, right like that. And you'll get the actual test itself sealed in a little glass vial with a little pink chemical at the bottom. you also get your interpretation guide and instructions, which you've probably gone through to find this link. So the only other thing that you need is a cup. We use sterile urine cups here at the office, but you can use any cup that's clean at home. You use the cup to catch some urine in the bathroom. Once you have it here, you get the pipette, you insert it there, pull some out, hold it in the pipette, put your cup aside, get your test, open the top, put the urine in there, top back on, toss your pipette, and your test is ready to go. It'll take about 60 to 90 seconds before the color will finish turning so you, to get your results, but as you go, you bring it back, you clean up what you need to do, and soon you'll have a color just like this, or hopefully not this dark, but a, a color nonetheless in your vial like this one here. Take your card, check out where you went, or how far it went, and how, how high up the scale you went, and, and rate your number, and keep the date and the number for your test. Again, we use this test on everyone coming in. The idea is that the higher the number, the darker the color of the test. So you ideally, when, once you start to look at your test, you want the lighter, lighter pink hue as you can get. So on the card, it goes from 0, 1, 2, or 3. That's considered a healthy range. So if you get a 0, 1, 2, or 3, you're doing pretty well. Whatever efforts you're doing, and you will be doing efforts to be in that range. People don't fall into that range randomly. Keep doing it. Tighten up your ship, but keep doing the efforts that you're doing. You're doing very well. If you have a 4, 5, 6, or 7, or you're off the chart, and believe it or not, some of these colors, this one is pretty close, come in right off the chart, darker than it's even on this card, that means you have a high toxicity level. This is testing cellular level toxicity. This is a result of oxidation, the precursor for inflammation and chronic issues. So this is a very important number to keep, a tra keep track of. We use this number with every new patient. We test people once a month, man, woman, and child alike. Yes, even children are coming in very high on our toxicity scale. I also use it to test to see if people's products, vitamins, and supplements are actually doing their job. If you've been taking a vitamin complex or a package or a drink or any kind of nutritional supplement for a while and you want to know if it's really getting to, into the cells and getting the, you're getting the benefit on a cellular level, just take the test. If it doesn't clear the test, the product's probably not getting in there and it, it, you have to consider whether you want to continue with that product or not. I have gotten tons of products off my shelves because they didn't clear the test. It helps me identify what is a cellular level uh, supplement and what is not. So again, Take the test, rate your score, mark it down, send us an email, tell us how it went, check out our other programs and resources on our website for more information, and keep your efforts going. I'm Dr. Don Klum with drklum.com, yourvirtualdoc.com. Have a fantastic day.